Hey guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC Mom Who Loves Science, and today we're going to talk about CC Cycle 3, Week 9, Hands-On Science Project. We're continuing with our anatomy study, and we're going to be talking about our skeleton, our muscles, and our stomach today. So we're getting our um, coloring pages from the My Body Book. Your director will make copies for your students. And we're going to be in um, pages 19 for the skeleton, um, 19 through 21, um, and you'll have these two pages. So no coloring required for the bones, but we'll, we will have to cut it out for parts. And then um, the muscles, it talks about it on page 22. And we'll color in um, the muscles of our leg and... Our, our foot and then it talks about the stomach on page 25 so I'll show you I have colored so this is kind of um, suggested colors for the muscles and the tendons tendon in gray and the muscle in red and then we'll cut all these out so make sure you have your students write their names on the back of each part and um, recommend having like either a Ziploc baggie with their name on it or a manila folder um, with their name on it to put all their parts in after they cut them out or if you run out of time and don't have time to cut them out you know the whole piece of paper can can slip in there um, then we got our stomach and then we've got the bones which we, we won't have to color just to cut out and again as they're coloring each part you can use crayons or colored pencils um, markers kind of bleed through and a little more messy but crayons work really well I recommend not pre-cutting out the parts because um, it will make it easier to color and less likely for them to, to tear um, so you can talk about read the descriptions on the my body book for each part or you can read um, I recommend Nicole Liam's science script and you can find that in the um, e-magazine e the sandbox for each week on PC Connected. So, just have to move my papers. so our skeleton it keeps our organs safe and it holds up our muscles it gives our body structure so if we didn't have bones we would just be you know a big pile of, of goop it would just be we'd be very floppy and so our skeleton gives us rigidity and structure and supports our muscles and protects our organs. So that's very impor important. Um, you can name, we learned lots of different types of bones, types, parts of our skeleton, you guys can name those. Um, our muscles, what are the types of muscles? We have skeletal muscles, smooth muscles, and cardiac muscles. And then our stomach is part of our digestive system. So if you ask the students if they can name the parts of the digestive system. That was in our new grammar. And so, um, also some good questions to ask is like, what do they observe as they're coloring these pictures? Um, what do they observe? Is it different than they thought it would look? And what did they think their bones look like inside of their foot or muscles inside of their leg? Um, and so Nicole Liam has also some descriptions and some more pictures of where each of these parts goes and um, how it works. So again, we're just coloring more parts of our anatomy and cutting those out, learning a little bit what each part does. And as a result, we're just getting more and more understanding of God's awesome creation and how he designed each part for a specific purpose and how it's just designed um, an amazing way to do his job so well and we need all those parts um, to live in this world that he created for us so as we learn more about how we're made we learn more about our creator and um, just how amazing he is and how thoughtful he was um, and think about to like how does us having a skeleton and muscles allow us to enjoy the world around us it allows us to move it allows us to do things we're able to create and build because of it 
Um, if we didn't have a skeleton or muscles, we might just stick in one spot and how different our lives would be then. Um, but God uh, created us to be able to move in this world and he gave us everything we needed to do that. So just there's lots of cool things that conversations you could have that could branch off from it. But um, this gives us a better understanding of our creator. So have fun with this one, week nine, CC Cycle 3.